Welcome again to the Vichyr Atlas of 1690. I wanted to spend a little time talking about the cartographers in, uh, that I, that I um, researched while putting this uh, exhibit together. The Dutch were one of the world's leading powers in the 17th and 18th centuries, and one of their critical assets was their maps and map makers. Uh, and I've highlighted several of them here. Um, you can uh, reach the Google slide document by clicking on this link here, and then you can get to each one of the um, uh, sort of the backup about each one of these cartographers. But I'll tell you a little bit about each one here. Um, uh, Gerard de Yode published and printed the maps of other cartographers as well as some of his own, including a competing version of Ortelius's famous atlas. Uh, the de Yode business lasted for four generations. Uh, Gerardus Mercator is one of uh, the most famous for his 1569 map with a new projection, which represented sailing courses of a constant bearing as straight lines. Mercator was incredibly studious and learned, but unlike most of the other Dutch cartographers, he rarely traveled. Abraham Ortelius is, is considered by many to be the founding father of the atlas um, for his atlas of 1570, where he used maps from several cartographers and then put them all together uh, into one volume or atlas called Teatrum Orbis Terrarum or Theater of the World. Uh, Lucas Johnson Wagoner was a sailor for 29 years before becoming a cartographer who made an atlas with nautical charts that were useful for sailors. Jan van Linskoten traveled widely, especially in Inda, India, and made an atlas with images and information, much of it copied from Portuguese sources that proved valuable to the Dutch in their rise to power in the East Indies. Uh, Jodocus Hondius was a Flemish cartographer famous for reestablishing the reputation of Mercator. John Jansonius, Jan Jansonius, Jan Jansonius was the brother-in-law of the son of Jodocus Hondius. So this is a family affair in many ways. Um, and he carried on and grew the publication of the atlases of Mercator and Hondius. Um, uh, Hendrik Donker was an Amsterdam publisher of nautical charts, uh, which were noted for their usefulness to sailors as well as their artistry and his maps were filled with lines. Um, uh, Joan Blau is one of the most famous cartographers of all time. He was the cartographer of the Dutch East India Company and his Atlas Mayor of 1662 is considered uh, the finest uh, atlas ever made. Frederick DeWitt, that's not him here. Um, that's, this is a picture from one of his uh, uh, atlases, was an especially talented engraving artist who studied under Blau and then married into a wealthy family and ended up building a very successful map making business. Justice Dankertz, um, uh, was a second generation cartographer publishing atlases in the late 17th century and for 75 years. He published a fascinating image, the last one in our exhibit um, of uh, the various aspects of a Dutch warship, including a sectional diagram and various engineering vignettes. And then Peter Schenk was a German who married into a Dutch family and he ultimately bought the plates of both Chansonius uh, and Vischer. And then let's jump to the next page here. The Vischer cartography business was based in Amsterdam. It lasted for three generations from about 1620 to 1700. The Atlas in this exhibit was published in 1690 by the third generation Vischer, this one here. Both of these maps I believe are from this 1690 Atlas. Um, uh, so this Atlas was, it was published in 1690 by the third generation. Although many of the maps came from Atlases published by his father. Mm -hmm. 